A webinar or web-based seminar simply refers to a web-based presentation that you present step-by-step -step to an invited audience. Quite commonly, you would have all your viewers in an audio conference call at the same time, so you can talk through your presentation. Webinars are a great way to introduce new products or services to your customers, or share data with colleagues in other offices. Webinars are created in much the same way as an ordinary online presentation, so you can start by taking a look at our other movies on creating presentations. For a webinar, you'll probably want to leave out the navigation arrows, because your viewers won't be able to control the steps. Instead, you, the presenter, will drive it using the left and right arrow keys. Another tip is to avoid relying on actions that require user interaction, such as mouse overs or pop-ups, because your viewer won't be able to interact with them. So once you've created your presentation, you need to set it up as a remotely controlled webinar. Firstly, you will need some web space, such as the Magix Online World, to host and manage your presentation. Magix Online World accounts are free, and they include 500 megabytes of space. So even if you aren't creating a presentation, you might want to take advantage. If you don't already have one, you can sign up on our website or select the Magix Web Hosting profile in the Publish tab of the Web Properties dialog. Once you're happy with your presentation, publish it in the normal way from the Publish tab of the Web Properties dialog, selecting the Magix Web Hosting option as the profile. Publishing a webinar is no different to publishing any other web page. Once your presentation is published, select Help, Remote Presentations, or just go directly to presenter.zara.com. Sign in with your Magix Online World email and password. Enter a title for your presentation and the URL of the first page of the presentation that you have created. You can optionally enter a message that is shown to your viewers if they visit the page prior to the start of your presentation. It's a good idea to include the time and date of the session, plus some brief information on what the presentation is about. So type a welcome message here. Click the Create Presentation button. Your presentation appears here. This is the unique URL for the new presentation. Send it to everyone you want to invite to your presentation. When the time comes to start your presentation, log in again at presenter.zara.com and click the Start button next to the presentation. You will then see the first page of your presentation, as will all your viewers. When you click the right arrow key to move to the next step, or page, all your viewers will see the same thing as you in their web browsers. In the top right corner of the browser window, you can see how many viewers are currently viewing your presentation. If you move the mouse pointer over this text, you'll see a list of the names of each current viewer. Viewers can access the presentation using their normal web browser. When invited, viewers click the link you gave them and they will see this page. They just enter their names and click Sign In. The name is used only to let you, as the presenter, see who is viewing your presentation. The viewer then sees the first page of your presentation site, with the welcome message you provided displayed on top or if your presentation has already started, they will see the same page as you, the presenter. And that's it.